Wagwan people, welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create motion parts inside Apple Motion. Okay, let's get started. So let's start by creating a circle. Let's select our circle tool. Let's hold on shift to ensure that we constrain our circle and click and drag to create that circle. So you'll notice my circle is invisible and that's because my group is unchecked. So let me go ahead and check my group. So I've already imported a ball here and my aim is to get this ball to go around the edges of my circle. To do this, we're going to select our ball, we're going to go to behaviors, select basic motion and then motion path. So I'm going to select the motion path behavior, I'm going to go to the behaviors tab, find path shape and change it from open spline to geometry. Currently, the shape source is set to none. So what we need to do is add a shape to that empty box. So with the behavior still selected, let's click and drag our circle inside of that shape source well. Now once your circle is inside the source well, go ahead and press play and you'll notice that your ball moves around the edges of the circle. If you don't want the circle to be visible, simply go ahead and uncheck it in the project pane which keeps your animation going while hiding that shape layer. If you want to move that circle, simply click and move it to anywhere around the canvas and that ball will still be moving around the shape. You can make pretty much any adjustment you want to this shape and your object will still be moving along the path of the shape. So let's check our circle layer to ensure that it's visible again. Once we've done that, let's convert it from a fill to a stroke by going to shape and deselecting fill and then selecting outline so we can change our outline value to whatever we want and we can actually increase the number of balls moving along that path by simply duplicating using command d and then we can go ahead and offset these values by simply going into the behavior and offsetting by whatever percentage you want Let's offset each one of these balls by 20% each. So the first one is 20, the other one an additional 20 which is 40 and then 80 and so forth. And with that, we've just created our animation with these balls all rotating in a circle using the motion path behavior. Okay guys, like this video if you did, subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. And thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.